All right, we are just on our way to our first meetup with subscribers, hopefully. Um, we put out the message last night, pretty late notice, and a lot of people said they just left Plato Carmen or couldn't make it. So it might just be me and Mandy and Bear having some tacos. Past old Tammy scene Big birds were singing in the tall willow tree. Mighty fine. Three words written on the paper bag I miss you was written in a message in black Thrown in a van two thousand miles back A better time And how many souls and times that I've told Places it had wanna be And how many days when I could have stayed Instead of just getting up to leave And giving we make time I'll meet you down the line Long coat walking on a New York street. A pack of crushed cigarettes that fell to her feet. Well, ain't it odd how some people meet? But that's the truth. And two pictures buried in a guitar case. Underneath. I'm on my way to go get my nails done. Found a really cheap place on Fifth Avenue um, that does them. Went there last time and they actually let dogs in there, but uh, Bear's just resting because we have a big meetup tonight and he's going to need a lot of energy for that. <laughs> so we put out like a super last minute invite for anyone of our subscribers to come and meet us for a drink tonight and we don't think anyone's gonna show up. <laughs> We're the worst at planning things. So I think um, maybe the last minute invitation might bite us in the ass, but we'll see what happens. I just wanna move on with my life. I've loved you for a while and that's the way I like it. I just gotta be on my own I've been loving you for too long All these butterflies gotta go I just gotta be on my own I've been loving you for too long Too long Move on On my own Alright, that place that I usually get my nails done is called Monica's and it was $45 US for a manicure and pedicure uh, it's probably a little bit more expensive just because it's on Fifth Avenue, but I really like the staff there, so I keep going back. And I like that you can window watch as well, like what's going on Fifth Avenue. Um, I'm just gonna go to another place that does, um, that I usually get my eyebrows done um, and eyelashes to see if they can quickly tint my eyebrows because they have disappeared on me from the sunshine so hopefully I can get someone to do something about that. <laughs> I also have this very um, impulsive need at the moment. I don't know if I'm having like a manic episode or what but I really want to get bangs. <laughs> and I know everyone would probably say don't do that but I really want to try. Let me know in the comments should I do it? Should I just get a haircut? I've had the same hair forever and I'm really bored of it but I don't know if I'll regret it because last time I cut it I definitely regretted it so I don't know if I've learned from that yet. This place is also a really good nail salon but they're always booked out and they don't really do walk-ins and I'm more of a walk-in type of person. I really suck with like appointments and stuff. I never can plan 
further than like a day or two in advance because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling on the day. Might change my mind. I might have, might want to stay in bed. Might not want to do it. So I'm more of a walk-in type of person for everything. And that's why we planned this, these drinks tonight, which also happens to be St. Patrick's Day. So everyone's probably already got plans as well. So we're idiots. <laughs> But I'm gonna laugh really hard when no one shows up. <laughs> I've been loving you for too long. I know you're eager to move on with us, but you know I never do the long term stuff, so let go and hope for better luck next time. Cause I'm done with time consuming love, you see. Baby, can we kill these butterflies? They live and then they die And that's the way I like it I just wanna move on with my life I've loved you for a while Alright, $15 just to get my eyebrows back So that was good The place is called Sugar Lash um, I really recommend it I've been to them a few times for laminations and stuff um, Lloyd just messaged me needs face moisturizer so now I've got to walk all the way back to Sephora which is quite a way and it's hot but it's okay getting my steps in today baby can we kill these butterflies they live and then they die and that's so excited like this place it. got shut down I just want best to news ever I've loved you for a while and that's the way All these butterflies gotta go I just gotta be on my own I've been loving you for too long All these butterflies gotta go I just gotta be on my own Well that was a big fucking waste of time They didn't have any of the brands that I normally buy That's Sephora man This does not get stocked up quick enough I don't know what we're gonna do It's like how many other places to buy like moisturizer and that type of stuff might just have to wait until we get to Canada. Now I've got the longest walk home for no reason. <laughs> just on our way to our first meetup with subscribers hopefully um, we put out the message last night pretty late notice and a lot of people said they just left Plato Carmen or couldn't make it so it might just be me and Mandy and Bear having some tacos <laughs> that's okay that's how it's always been um, no nah, I think a few people will show up which would be good because a lot of people have asked us to come for a drink since we've been here and we just haven't had the time. And also we're very introverted, we don't we don't go out much. So this is our way of hopefully meeting everybody and just saying thank you for watching and getting to know who's behind the the YouTube accounts I guess. Social anxiety, do hey? <laughs> Fear of being late always. I, for some reason, yeah, I have to be first. Yeah. What is that? We're, we're both very particular about seating. I'm not even particular, I just worry about, like, I don't know, is there going to be enough seats? Um, are we going to be in that awkward situation where, like, there's nowhere to sit? <laughs> to stand up, which is fine, it gives a fuck, you know. And we could have prevented if we made a reservation somewhere, but we have no idea how many people are going to show up. It might not be anyone. And also, <laughs> this place is comfortable to us, we know it. 
Yeah. And it's chill. Yeah. And I want to show people uh, this place because we haven't shown it on our blog yet. And it's our favourite. As far as I know, they only serve one beer here. You just ask for cerveza and it's always Montego. Mm -hmm. Which I think is the equivalent to like VB in Australia. Or Melbourne Bitter or something. Canada, what would it be like in Canada, like Bush? Bush, I was gonna say Bush. So it's pretty good, and it's like 30 pesos. So good. Yeah. And these Aperol spritzes, which is Mandy's favorite drink, is always two for one. It's not on the menu, it's not written anywhere, but it's always two for one. Um, and it's 180. Yeah. So that's really check. good. Yeah. It's like $9 for two. Yeah. How much do you think we're going to pay in Canada for two apples? Oh my god, 20 bucks, I reckon. Well, in Australia they each. were 20 bucks. Yeah, each. Okay, so our biggest fear in throwing this little impromptu meetup was that no one was going to show up and we've had many of you subscribers show up so we really appreciate it. Look at our table. Ah!